The next phase of the implementation process is at building or adjusting your routes. If your existing routing system was converted, you will still want to know how to adjust or create new routes. If you're coming from a manual process, we will assist you in learning how to create these routes and we'll work with you in Zoom meetings to show you how to do that. But the more you know about the various ways to build a route, the better. This video will show you the various ways that you can build or adjust your routes in the Travel Tracker routing software. To manually create a route, the first thing you do is go to your Routes tab, and then we would simply click on the plus sign that says Add New Route. Then we are going to select the vehicle that this route is for. In this case, I'm going to use Bus 9. I'm going to take the defaults, but there are things you can set here um, if you've defined bus regions. You can set um, how often the bus route is going to be run and different things here. I'm just going to um, select all the defaults and now I have a, a route started. I can go up and change the name here if I want it to be consistent with what the other route names are. So I'm to, I can just, um, let me just go up here and we'll type in, I believe it was Lincoln Middle School and you just save that and that would just simply save the name when you go back out to your route list. Next thing we want to do is add a trip. So in this case, I'm going to add bus 9 a.m. And I'm going to select for Lincoln Middle School. And then I can also select the grades of the school if I uh, want to do that. This will just narrow down the students that it will try to put on the bus and it will um, be more efficient. So I'm going to say create. Okay. So if you go into this here to edit, um, the route properties, you can you can um, see the recurrence information that we had here, and here's just some general information. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Anything that's set there will also carry down into the trip. Now I'm going to just edit the trip properties just to show you what this looks like. This is the name I gave it. I can change that if I want to. I can also change the school and or the grades if I want to. I could also have a custom filter for students. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding stops to this bus 9 a.m. trip. So I'm going to click here where it says add new trip stops, assign students. So let's say I need to leave from the bus barn and I already have the bus barn set up in my system and it's going to be my first stop. The next thing I know, I can go in if I know my route, I can just start typing in um, the address. In this case, I do want 235 Circle Avenue and it will put that as my next stop. And let's say I want need to go to 209 East Chestnut Street here. I can select that. It will make it my third stop. Now, if you notice, I'm using addresses that are already in the system. And these, in this case, came from the students' home addresses. So that's what I'm going to be using now. I'll also show you how you can create a stop on the map. Now, let's say the important thing I need to also do here for student assignments later down the road is to put the school as a stop on the bus. So here I have Lincoln Middle School as my last stop. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save what I just did and it will start building this trip, okay? So it says I'm leaving the bus barn and these are the stops I'm going on. If I want to go ahead and put the students on, I can simply click here uh, on this plus see this where it says auto assign students I can click there it will say that I have six students that the system would automatically put on these stops if you click on the six it will list out who those students are now you may um, have a list that you know maybe that these two don't get on there you could just X them out here and then when we select done they will be only be four that it would actually auto assign or you can leave them and it would assign all those. I'm going to take those two away so you can see how that changed to a four. I can now click to save that and it will assign those students to those stops and drop them off at Lincoln Middle School. Now let's say for example I needed to add a stop on this route. There's a couple of things you can do. You can go in and just add another stop like we did. But let's say our first stop really needs to be here at Claremont Avenue. I can um, say that I want to add a new trip stop. I can create a new stop on the map by just simply clicking here. Now when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's best if you are very 
um, intentional about where you place the stop. If you place a stop up on this road, then the route's going to try to go up that road to get it, even if you barely place it. So you'll want to place it just outside that um, that road. Okay, we can save that. Now it's going to save it as 331 South Broad Street. That may be fine. You may want to leave that. I'll also show you how to change that. So just simply click save. And now you'll see it down here at the bottom, and I want that to be my second stop. So I just clicked over here in the sequence and drug that up. Now I can click my green Save button, and that will become my second stop. If I click on the address, I can come down here and change that. Maybe I want that to say Claremont Avenue. Okay, and I'm just going to say Save that. Okay. And we can see over here on the map how that's going to travel down. That's now going to be my second stop. I may want to change the recalculate the stop time. So I'm just going to close this bottom panel out. I'm going to come up to operations, recalculate my stop times. And let's say um, I'm going to leave the best barn. And let's say we're going to leave the best barn at 555. And then I'm just going to let it recalculate through to the last stop. So there we're leaving the best barn. Um, we don't have students on here. We can simply click, go to the students tab. We can let the system show us the students that are in that area. And let's say this is the student that needs to be on that stop. I'm going to save. Okay. So now we leave the best barn. We go pick up this student, this student at this stop, and these two students at this stop. If we if we scroll out, of course, we can see the route. We can see how it travels by clicking this icon here, and you will see um, how you can just close this. You can see how the route will travel. That's very useful, especially when you're creating routes or if we have imported routes and you are taking a look. So I'm going to close that. This icon here is your um, visibility toggle. So if you don't want to see that on the map for some reason, you can just simply click that, it will go away. If you do want to see it, you can click it there as well. You can also um, have your PM route as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to um, clone your PM route from, from your AM route. So I'm just going to come up to the operations and it says um, create AM slash PM trips. So I'm going to create PM trips from my AM trip, okay? And I'm going to say that this uh, this is going to leave at 3.15 in the afternoon, okay? And I'm going to reverse the sequence for, the, for these non-school stops, and I'm going to clone that. Now when I do, it will create another trip, okay? And it tells you this was created from bus 09 AM. And of course, you can simply click here. You can see how it reversed. It, it goes to the middle school. It picks up the students and then it drops them off in reverse order. You can also keep the same order by not checking the reverse order. If you want to change the, um, the name of this trip to the PM trip, you can just simply click and edit the trip properties. And then you could just call it bus 09 PM. Let's save that, and now we have both an AM and a PM trip with students assigned.